using cocoa butter, but all that cocoa from that butter love left over the scent of you on my sheets, my dressing gown, underwear, hand towel, and even my hair has me wanting to use it again. As you got me falling for its smell all over again, the whiff of you is adding to my other favorite chocolate pastimes and just my favorite pics in general. You are my Snickers, <laughs> of which I never have to read the cell by day. <laughs> With you, that horror I never have to anticipate. You are the bubbles in my mint era. The green is the connotation of calm and peace and serenity that you give me. You are the healing peppermint in my after eight as opposed to green tea. <laughs> as your skin is so rich as, it would, as if it was dipped or wrapped in gold, I'll give you an even higher rating. You remind me of my ultimate must-have for Rera Roche. <laughs> you have class and I want you around on every celebration. Yes, be my forever. <laughs> but yet, just be my favorite and I your Nefertiti or Queen Nefertari, the beautiful one. The first wife of Ramesses, I believe. Do your history, you'll see. <laughs> I feel about you the way I feel about my toffee Chris before they raise the price. <laughs> I had to have it daily and I haven't bought it since it was 30p. Real talk. <laughs> well at least not willingly but with you I am just willing to indulge. And I can't compare you to another or anything similar. Do you notice how Reese's Peace has the exact same branding as Toffee Crisp? Yes. None of you eat Toffee Crisp. <laughs> no really, I'm, I'm asking you. <laughs> But judging on the outside, your nuts are just fine. You remind me of the excitement that I used to get as a child when I would buy into a Cadbury's caramel filling or when someone would buy me any king size bar. The definition of your muscles that reflect the light reminds me of the smooth ribbons of milk chocolate ripple. That one became my go to for quite a long period of time, as I'm sure you will be. You remind me of peanut eminence. <laughs> that I buy in mini packets but frequently because they gave me joy and gave me many like as such I want bags of you in all your different versions all your colours of your moves and motions I also think of chocolate buttons <laughs> milk or white either way I will buy and pick each button which is all I want to do when I see you with your shirt on <laughs> but still I get as excited about you as I do Easter eggs even in my older age, I wish someone would still buy me one, and every year I'm like, I've got to have one. <laughs> so much so that I would even just buy myself one, even though it's not quite the same, they're meant to be a gift. <laughs> I've always had my eye on the ones that are the most expensive, and believe me, it's not because of the price, it's because of their size, they are huge. <laughs> I'm full of extra treats inside, but as the price and position on the shelf is too high, it feels like when I first saw you, it just feels unreachable and almost makes me dribble. Now, I'm not trying to overrate you, I just want to best describe you in the most concise and metaphorical way that I can, being the foodie that I am. You are as decadent and delightful as a moist chocolate cake. My ultimate indulgence provoking my sweet tooth temptation, and that is exactly what you are to a T. I will bite into you any time. <laughs> Relax and enjoy. <laughs> Red velvet is the chocolate flavor that's in star right now. I wrote this like three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel that it's become too commercial and played out, and I just want my classic, the classic that becometh of you. I'm liking you like my raspberry flavored lint that rightfully was titled Raspberry Dream, which they stupidly discontinued. By the way. <laughs> you could go to my food blog to check out the rating that I gave it. You'll see it had a big impact. <laughs> you remind me of my old time favourites when I want more and more and I just can't stop eating as I'm not quite used to you though and we've not long been introduced much by my standards. You also remind me of something new, the new chocolates that I'm falling for like the pink champagne from Hotel Chocolat. Have any of you had those? Oh my days. <laughs> that I got as a gift from one of my customers of my greeting cards that topped all recent chocolates by far. The chocolates, the bubbles, the taste, the presentation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get me smiling like your appearance that I'm admiring. You really are my new chocolate bar. My new habit, though you haven't quite made me an addict, and you're actually better because you don't make me put on weight. <laughs> you don't encourage acne or cavities. 
Although you do have the ability to be that sweet. And you give me feelings with a different meaning if you get what I mean. <laughs> You're like the first time that Pat's grown at <laughs> You're like the first time that I tried a galaxy hot chocolate. Straight out of the machine. Steaming, comforting and appetizing, soothing and very much pleasing. <laughs> My cocoa is not from Switzerland or Belgium, which is apparently considered the best, nor from South America. This is my Caribbean cocoa. And if you really want to debate who's the best, there are many women who will attest, but I'm obviously not concerned about the women. <laughs> <laughs> and their needs when it comes to my cocoa bean. My ultimate indulgence, provoking my sweet tooth of temptation, and that is exactly what you are to a T. I will bite into you any time, <laughs> give into you any time, be with you any time, because you put a smile on my face and I could just enjoy you. You bring me so much joy. <laughs> like I didn't even like that tune again. <laughs>